Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java input output streams so guys there are different types of streams in java now depending upon the data a stream holds it can be classified into a byte stream or a character stream now what is the difference a byte stream is used in order to read and write a single byte which we say 8 bits of data basically all byte stream classes are derived from base abstract class called the input stream and the output stream so guys this we are going to check with the help of examples in the upcoming videos as well apart from this we have something called as character stream which is used in order to read and write a single character of data so this is the only difference the byte stream uses a single byte that is 8 bits of data at a time and a character stream it uses a single character now all the character stream class classes are derived from base and abstract classes that is reader and writer so guys in order to make it more easy for you to understand i have this diagram for you so when you are reading data from source we say the data it is going from source to program so for example let's say we want to read some data from a file so your file becomes the source of the data and we are reading it into the program so basically this term is called the input stream and we can use the input streams in this case whether it is a byte stream or a character stream and when we are doing the reverse that is writing data to destination so when the data is being returned to destination we are writing the data from a particular program to a particular destination which can be a particular file or it can go to some other program as well and in this case we say it as the output stream it can be a byte output stream stream or a character output stream now guys there are different classes that can be used in order to accomplish this task that is using the input stream or using the output stream over here we have something called as file input stream when we are reading the data in the form of bytes of data and we also have something called as file reader as well which reads a data based on the characters similarly we will have the file input stream and the file writer as well so these are the classes that we are going to see in the upcoming videos so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java input stream class with the help of examples so stay tuned